What a 46. Find the solution. My fuel costs have been rising for months. I don't like it because the rising gas prices are clearly not the only reason for it. $1,200. Hmm. Fuel costs. That could be all manner of things, couldn't it? It could be the mixture. It could be the tuning. It could be some friction from somewhere that you shouldn't have. Blimey. I'm not even going to... How am I going to... What's a test drive? We need some kind of diagnostics, don't we? That's not going to tell me anything about f mixture. Is this a diagnostic or just a chip tuning? That's just tuning. But it... Did that tell me anything useful? No. Let's get inside the car. And... Bring up these diagnostics first, I think. See if they tell us anything useful. If it's burning too much fuel, it sounds like a mixture problem. But equally, it could be a brake pad. You know, the brake disc sticking or something rubbish like that. Uh, that hasn't revealed anything at all. Not a jot. Right, I'm going to stick it on this one then. Oh no, interesting. Your car condition does not let you do that. So it's not necessarily a physical problem. Do I need... Surely this wouldn't... Right. Okay, well, the game's given us clues, so I'm going to take it for a test drive then. Wow, we're not... Okay. <laughs> so basically the game's going... You can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that, and we're not going to tell you anything here. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, could be so. Obviously, it's going to be a wearable item then, I think. So it could be the. Oh, the airflow meter. Look at that, it's screwed. I'm going to check the filter while we're here. So it could be the air intake that's a problem. 8% air filter. Alright, well let's try that. Airflow meter and the air filter. I don't believe we can repair the optimal.eu. Yeah, I would say that those trousers are quite optimal, actually. We can repair the airflow meter. It's so good that I checked. I saved myself a comment. Right, and we need an air filter, which is one of those. So let's get rid of the broken air filter. Let's try whacking this all back together. And let's see what that gives us. So if it's not an air intake problem, then the next stop is an ignition or a fueling problem. I would have suggested tuning, but then the tuning shop was closed. I can't even use my own tuning thing because the condition of the car is too good. What does that say? That's not fixed it. Um, alrighty then, so let's see if we can 92% on the starter. Serpentine belts. Gonna disassemble this stuff over here. Actually, we can't. Ex can we examine the water pump condition? It's not that. Um. Okay. What about the alternator? Nope. Let's reassemble this while we're here. So now I'm going to check the ignition and the plugs. 95%. They're all showing up green. So it's not that. Uh, was ignition module 90%? It's not that either.
Okay, so I think then I'm going to check for a possible fueling problem. So I'm going to come up here and come on game, seriously, let me tell the hell. Okay, so his fuel pump's knackered. It's his fuel filter like. His fuel filter's fine. Let's put that back. Let's replace his fuel pump, which I don't think we can repair. So we'll just buy him a brand new one, I think. Fuel, 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 fuel. Fuel pump. Okay. The thing is, it wouldn't. I mean, if a fuel pump was broken, it would. You know, you'd really start to notice that very quickly. I would have thought the performance of your car would just drop massively. That's ticked it. That's ticked it, lads. Let's just get rid of that fuel pump. Cool. Interesting little problem, that one. I had to um, solve that by hand, but it's done. $1,200. Probably made about 800 maybe. Take that. Order 47. I started to hear a whining noise from the back of my car. Could you check it and then replace all my filters and oil? $3,000. Find and replace the cause of whining. Replace all oil filters, all filters and change oil. Okay, so filters, all filters. Okay, air filter, fuel filter, oil filter. I think that's all three. Cause the whining. Probably do a test drive, I think. Change the oil. Huh, not a bad little motor. Should we see how it drives? I think we'll take it for a test drive and try and work out. See if that highlights the problem. Okay. Oh, it's a bit slow off the mark. And a handbrake turn. Whoa! Slidey, slidey. Oh, good grief. This is slow to accelerate. And even slower to brake! Crikey, that's like trying to stop a truck. How heavy is this thing? Oh my god. Oh, missed! <laughs> missed the slalom. Whoa! Donuts! Blimey, this thing's got so much power, and yet it can't seem to get it down properly. Come on. Oh, the handling. This is certainly an interesting car to drive. Whoa! It's not short of horses under the bonnet, that's for sure. I can't hear a whining. I guess it's not gonna... Whee! It's not gonna um, let us hear the whining, I don't think. The game doesn't seem to do that. So... I don't know, hopefully it'll highlight the problem in the back. Show body... Okay, we can see something. What's that? Is that the differential? It's... Rear wheel drive. There's the shaft going along there, the drive shaft. Looks like the differential, which is that red thing there, going into the drive axles. So, uh, let's think about this for a second. Filters and... Replace that to take that off. Oh god, we're gonna have to pop the axles out. I think. Um, do we need to remove the exhaust in order to pop those axles out? I'm not sure. Let's take the wheels off like that, and then let's get to the drive axle. Cool. I think we are by the look of it. Look at that. It seems to be sat on top of it. Um, what else can we do from here? I don't want to end up... Because I'm going to have to pop the ramp up. I don't want to be up and down on the ramp. I'm just trying to make sure I get the order right. Left axle off. Um, we can only do the filter from here. So let's go and do the front bit. Let's do the... 
Where's the air filter? The air filter is here. Come on. Engine cover. Durr. Engine cover, then the flow, then the meter. Then the air cover filter. Pop that up like that. Then that thing, which is presumably knackered. 12%. Um, okay. Can we do anything else from over here? We have to drain the oil. Is there one? Just the one? Yes, there is. Just the one um, oil plug. Can we change that yet? Or do we have to take the oil out? Filter. 27%. Right, so that's the air filter, the oil filter, the fuel filters at the back. We've got to drain the oil out, which means... Okay, let's pop it up and go and get the... The oil container. Always good for a laugh trying to line this up. Uh, let's see. Well, there's the plug. So I reckon if we go about... There? That should do it, shouldn't it? Okay. Let's do the oil while we're here. Come on. There we go. Plug. Oh, I missed! Oh, crap, I thought I shoved it all... <laughs> I thought I shoved it all the way over. I really did. I... I... <laughs> That's a hundred dollars down. Oh well, <laughs> that's a bit pointless bringing that bleeding thing. Right, you get over there. <laughs> what a mess on the floor. It should put a giant oil stain on the floor. That'd be funny, just to emphasise the point. Uh, I take it it put the plug back. I can't remember. It's been a while since I changed the oil now. Yeah, it seems to have put the drain plug back. Fine. Okay. Um. Don't think this is. Oh no, we can pop up. We don't need to take the exhaust off. Awesome. Uh, hang on, I need to go at the top here and get the oil filter. We, which is fuel filter. Sorry, not the oil filter. Fuel filter, twenty-two percent. Okay. Oil filter removed. Fuel filter removed. Air filter removed. Hopefully, we can repair that axle. We don't need to repair that. Axle deferential, seven hundred and sixty-six dollars. Ouch. Let's have a look at the inventory. Uh, is there an, a V6 type thing? Air filter, fuel filter, oil filter. Nothing particular for a V6. Car part shop. How much money have I got? I've got a lot of money. Let's try and get another discount. Four and a half grand to get a car shop discount. Let's do that. Almost at level 10. Look at that. Almost maxed out. Um, air filter, nice little discounts, fuel filter, fuel, 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 where are you, fuel filter, and oil filter, that's all the consumable parts, let's just get rid of the, check they're the same, air filter, yep, fuel filter looks good, oil filter looks good, okay, I think we're ready for assembly, and we've got to put the oil back. Let's put the axle back first. Which doesn't really matter, does it? We can put the... Let's put the fuel filter back first. Pop that on. Like so. Then we can come down and put the axle back on. It's like Lego, this, isn't it? Axle back on. That's all we can do from under here. And then it's wheels. And everything else is from the top, so we just need to pop it back down again. Because I think the danger here is, if you don't think that through in, in the... If you don't think it through, then you'll be up and down on the ramp. Which is obviously inefficient. So let's put the wheel back on. On to the other side. Look at the... Uh, axle, thank you. Oh, come on. Everything's <laughs> getting in the way. Bloody camera. Right. 
I think the camera would be better if there wasn't this really weird... You see when you spin around, you let, like, if I let go now, it carries on moving for ages. And it gives you this kind of weird oscillator, oscillatory effect. Where you overcompensate, then you undercompensate, and it just keeps swinging around. Um, new filter, let's put the lid back on. Like so. A floor meter. Like so. Come on. V6 tube. Finally, we've got to fill the oil up. No, I don't want to. I don't want to assemble the... Thank you. Right. Um, glug, glug. Quite a big engine. I'm thinking we're going to need a bit more than that. Okay, where's the dipstick? Not bad. Needs a bit more in. I wonder what happens if you put too much in. That's good. Let's try and get him. Let's try and get him close to the max, so he's good till his next service. That's good. That's good enough. Lead back on that, and I think that's it. All filters. Replace all filters. I did. No, I didn't. I didn't put the oil filter back, did I? I didn't put the oil filter back in. Come on. Cap on that. Now we've replaced all the filters. Yes! Three grand. Um, that probably cost less than 900 in parts, I think. So that was a tidy profit. Order 48. Perform general inspection of the engine. Replace all worn out parts. Check the oil. I need my engine to be inspected to see if everything is fine. Check the oil as well, please. Well, you did say everything. Um, check the oil. Replace all worn out. Check the oil. He just wants me to check it. He doesn't want me to replace it or just check it. Sorry to be pedantic, but there is a bit of a difference here. Whoa, hang on a minute. Isn't that the Renault van? I thought I told you never to bring that back here again. The Revton van. <laughs> you know what? I think I might do... Um, I think I might do an electronic test to see if it will highlight anything for me. Which will save me a bit of time, you know, on the ignition and the cables and the spark plugs and whatever else, all that stuff. This should pull that out. And then we've got to check the oil and the air filter and stuff. I don't want to disassemble absolutely everything. If at all possible. He's only paying me a grand. Now there you go. So that's highlighted. Let's get in there. That's the ignition wires. I'm going to take that off because I can't see what state the plugs are in. So they're all in yellow. By the look of it. So they're all good. Let's put the ignition wires back on. Um, his ignition module is good. His alternator, that actually pulled back his alternator. I think we may have to check the belts. So we'll take all the belts off. Come on. Belt tensioner, 12%. That's screwed. Timing belts. Can we inspect these things? 60 odd percent. I take I can't inspect that. Apparently not. To take it off to inspect it. Alternator 71, which is good. That's a 73. Don't think we can take the crankshaft pulley off. I've not found a, a point in the game yet. It's interesting. I've not found a point in the game where we take the bottom sump off and do anything actually inside the engine, like um, you know, like the piston rings or something, you know, kind of proper hardcore stuff. Don't know if that comes later or it's just not in the game. Um, starter's good. I'm not sure what else we're supposed to look at. He did say in the engine, so I'm thinking that we don't touch any of the chassis parts. Uh, idler pulley unknown. Better check that, I suppose. 23, that's screwed. Um, let's check his oil while we're here. Wow, dude! 
I'm surprised your engine didn't seize up on the way. Good grief, man. Are you kidding me? Right. Um, I'm going to replace his oil. I'm just going to drain off what's left of that treacle that he's got on his engine. I can't believe he got here in one piece, to be honest. I'm going to try not to spill the oil everywhere this time by going all the way over. Now let me just see if that's lined up. Oh, you, can't, you just can't see, can you? I think it is. It is very difficult, because at this point here, you want to be able to look down. And you can't really look down, because of the camera. <laughs> it's deeply annoying. I'm going to... I'm going to try that. I pushed it all the way over this time, so... Yes! <laughs> right. Didn't make the same mistake as last time. Just going to shove that over there out of the way. Um... Okay, what does it say we've done so far then? Nothing. Perform a general inspection of the engine is not ticked. It's not ticked, implying that I've not performed a general inspection of the engine. So what have I not inspected? This is the engine, not the transmission, he said. He just said the engine. So I think we may have to... Oh, I don't know. It depends how pedantic the game's going to be, and it's not very in the past. Where do you draw the line? So, I mean, the battery's fine. Do we have to take any of this off? Well, I'm going to take it off anyway. I'm going to inspect the air filter because that's all part of the engine, I think. But I don't want to be touching the transmission because that's not technically the engine. 72% on his air filter. Um... Okay, we probably need to check the state of his oil filter while we're here. If we can just get an angle. 72. Exhaust manifold. That's his exhaust system, technically. Right, right, okay. Good, that's that's the important one. Now it's just a matter of assembly and replacing the parts. Um, I don't think we had anything repairable over here that we had to deal with. We don't need to touch that stuff. So really, we just need to get this stuff replaced now. So the, we've got an idler pulley, a belt tensioner, and serpentine and timing belt. So let's go to the computer and get that. 13 grand. Let's see what we got here. Belt tensioner. Where's the belt tensioner? Belt tensioner, idler pulley, belt tensioner, idler pulley, and then we want serpentine belts for a normal car, and a timing belt, where's the timing belt, come on, where are you, there we are, timing belt. Good, I think that's the whole four. That was like a little memory test right there, wasn't it? Um, serpentine belts, we got. Sell that one. Timing belt, we got. I try to be methodical, and that way I don't cock it up as I go along. It's, I don't know, it's probably the right thing to do, isn't it? Um, belt tensioner. So I like to sell off my parts um, before I start assembling the car, just to make sure I don't put anything back on that I shouldn't. Because if you get it wrong, the danger is that you're going to spend time just wondering what the hell you've done. Let's put that back on. Cover. We didn't replace the air filter, did we? But it had to be checked anyway, I think. It's weird, like some jobs, like this one, was quite a bit of work really to get a thousand. But other jobs... You know, they just seem to be quite straightforward, really, and you get loads of money for them. And then you get those really annoying jobs where you you hardly, you know, you're lucky if you break even. Like that teenager who brought his car in. You know, that was horrendous. I don't think I made any money. It was almost like it was a charity. So you get a mix. Right, I think that's... I'll put the oil back now. Probably take a bit more than that, I would have thought. Let's try that. Don't want to overfill. 
Oh god, good grief. It's taking more oil than the V6. Man, he had none left. Might I drain the other one off as well? God, this car's engine's gonna love me for this. I don't know how it got here, to be honest. Imagine driving with that much... Oh, look at that, that was close. Imagine driving around with that much oil. Uh, is that it? Is that all the parts? Yes, it is. Is that the order done? Yes, it is. Take your Renault and get out of my garage.